In this video, we're going to find the integral of sine to the power of 4x cos x with respect to x. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to use the reverse chain rule. So we're going to consider something that you would differentiate that would give you something like this. So if you were to consider something such as y equals sine to the power of 5x, then if we were to differentiate this using the chain rule, let's see what we'd get. So dy by dx would equal... Remember, you bring the 5 down, so you're going to get 5 sine to the power of 4x, but then you're going to times the differential of the function. Let me just write this in a different way just to just show you what I mean. So if you were to write it as sine x to the power of 5, notice you'd bring down the power, you'd reduce the power by 1, and then you times the differential of the inside. So we've brought the power down, we've reduced the power by 1, and we're going to times by the differential of sine, which is cos. So we're going to get cos x. So if you were to differentiate sine to the power of 5x, you get 5 sine to the power of 4x cos x. Now notice how similar that is to what we're actually integrating. So we don't want the 5 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both of these by 5. So we're going to divide this by 5 and we're going to get a fifth here. So if you integrate sine to the power of 4x cos x, you're going to get a fifth sine to the power of 5x using the reverse sine rule. So the answer is a fifth sine to the power of 5x plus c.